specifically in Tybee Island. Yes, specifically the Crab Shack parking lot. So we're going to Crab Shack to have our Lunar. lunch or lunch and dinner. Yeah. But we are staying in Savannah. The our... Haunted Mansion Tour. Yeah, because we're actually staying in the Marshalls, but this is the continuation of our birthday celebration. That's yes. why we're here. That's right. Time to eat. Time to eat. See ya. See ya. That's pretty good. Wow. So we are in Fort Pulaski and the water that you can see over there is a moat. That's what my husband told me. It's very pretty in here. And it's also a beautiful day, sunny. They said it's going to close 4.30. The good news is that now they got a military pass, a lifetime pass. That so can, that means... We can come back if we miss stuff. See, there's a benefit of ex-military here. Ex yes, didn't have to pay. They didn't have to pay for the entrance. Yeah, they got a lifetime pass now instead of just a yearly. Yeah. So even if we go to other places, it's still gonna be free. This is like a drawbridge. Oh. Oh, this is gonna pull up. They kept the prisoners. Circular stairs going down. See, these are the, uh, the shells that they used. This one and this one. Cannonball for mortars.
Yeah, this is cool. This is where they stored the munitions, I believe. Because if you keep going this way, that's another exit. And this way is another exit. Okay. So that's why that's why I think this was the, the munitions bay. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are. Uh, either one side or the other, you can come over and get yeah. get your ammunition. Marshall House, where we've been hearing noises, I kid you not, since we just got here, like we, two or three times. Like, we hear like a squeak, Yeah. Two times. And this is still the day, it's not even night yet. No! So my wife God, is freaking please, out, no! saying that she's got to be praying all night. Pretty nice hotel, when you really look at it, it's not too bad. Yeah, it is. But anyway, to those who doesn't know what the Marshall House... I'm in Georgia, and it's supposedly one of the most, if not the most, haunted hotels in the nation, supposedly. So we'll be here a couple, uh, three days and a couple nights. Yeah, two nights. So we'll see how it goes. But so far, the hotel is very nice, actually. The lobby is so nice. The area is all beautiful. As soon as you walked in, inside the hotel, it's beautiful. And we timed it just right because there was nobody over at the front desk. And right when we came in, all of a sudden there were like 10 people behind us trying to go over and check in. So Yeah, actually a popular place. Yep. Yeah. So we don't know what we're going to do after. We're just going to We're probably going to go after in a, in a few minutes. We'll probably leave and go out and walk the streets. Okay, maybe go to Leopold and get some ice cream. Maybe we'll walk over to a few sections of Savannah downtown. Come on back and crash because tomorrow we've got a full day. All right. Okay, see you, see you on the down low.
pistachio. The squares in Savannah, Georgia. We don't know the name yet, so we'll have to find out. I know it, but I'm not going to tell you. What is it? Because <laughs> we're going to look at the sign. So, but Savannah have a lot of squares like this. So we're just going to walk around. It's actually nighttime right now. We just had our ice cream. Is it very good ice cream? Is this cream? a Holiday Inn Express? That's the main.